following a huge breaking news story today and a sigh of relief for all of us as Boulder averted what possibly could have been another deadly tragedy. Police tracked down and caught a man who threatened people at UCLA in California. Boulder's chief says that man's 800 plus page manifesto ranted about possible violence here in Colorado as well. It unfolded like this. UCLA learned of the manifesto and the threats on Monday. They notified Boulder last night that they thought that suspect was here. Well, Boulder and the feds tracked down that man. At 7.52 a.m., they sent a SWAT team to his apartment. Police moved everyone out of University Hill Elementary School just to be safe. And then at 11.07 this morning, they got their suspect. Investigator Rick Sounder has been working this story for you from Boulder today. So, Rick, what a relief, of course, for parents and students at that school nearby. Well, it most certainly was a relief. They were pretty much kept in the dark. This is University Hill Elementary School, and it is right across the street from where a man was holed up inside a building, and he was threatening to do stunning things. He was threatening to set off bombs, shoot people, create a massacre on a playground. He was a former instructor at the University of California in Los Angeles. There were reports that he was fired from there because of his behavior. He posted online an 800-page manifesto and numerous videos to YouTube threatening to do these terrible things. Well, UCLA contacted Boulder Police and they took it from there. The threat's dangerous, the precautions great. SWAT officers positioned themselves around the apartment building. Inside was 31-year-old Matthew Harris, a former philosophy teacher who had written an 800-page emailed diatribe. Upon reviewing parts of the manifesto, we identified thousands of references to violence, stating things such as killing, death, murder, shootings, bombs, schoolyard massacre in Boulder. Boulder Police Chief Maris Harold says it also threatened attacking and burning places outside the University of Colorado. The same threat originally came to the University of California at Los Angeles, where Harris had previously taught. Classes there were moved online. Reached by phone, negotiations went on for some three hours before Harris was taken into custody. Several brief conversations. I don't have the full context of what was discussed, but it was not adversarial to the best of my knowledge. And as you know, the, the end result was he did come out peacefully, and that's what we desired. At a news conference, authorities indicated Harris had been in the area for at least several months. The investigation also revealed that the male had attempted to buy an unknown handgun at a store located in Jefferson County on November 2nd. He was denied this purchase. Harris was reported to have been fired from UCLA. Emails that he sent out included one entitled UCLA Philosophy Mass Shooting. The manifesto reportedly also contained anti-Semitic slurs and anti-Asian as well. Fortunately, this did not end violently. Live in Boulder, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. All right.